Hello everyone, it's Ginger Spice here, and today I will be um, giving you some DIY tips. So the first tip that I'm going to give you is a tail bag tip for your Schleich Tour Horses. This is my quarter horse mare. Um, so for this, I took some ribbon. Well, actually, I took a baby headband, and um, kind of like this one, but it was orange, and I cut it in half. Um, and I used one of the halves, and I wrapped it around her tail nicely, and then I wrapped her up in its top, so it looks like a nice tail bag, especially when she's out in the pasture, you know. So there's my first DIY, and then my second DIY is something that I made with a briar horse hay bale, and it is a hay feeder. So let me show it to you. There it is, and it's like that on both sides, and on these sides it has those little things, and it's perfect for the horses to just nibble away off of, like this little foal that comes along. La di da, la di da. He wants some food, or if Fireball wants some food, they just eat away. So my third DIY tip is how to make a Schleich blanket. So this blanket right here is a blanket that I actually got from Schleich, but I want to show you the similarity between this one and one of the ones that I have made. Um, so here's one of the ones that I've made. It's just like the Schleich one, but I put little um, leg straps down here. So you just slip the horse's legs through it, and it goes through the neck, and it's a perfect blanket. So there's one of my blankets. And the rest of them are on horses right now. So I would show them to you, but you'll probably see them in my November 2018 barn tour. That will be um, sometime this month. So there's my third DIY. And then my fourth DIY is um, how to make water feeders. So this water feeder is just one of them like plastic like ranch to go cups from like pizza restaurant or anything like that. I wrote my initial on the bottom just because my friend has them too. And the waitress gave us a bunch of extras for the ranch that we had had. So I took these and I use it and you can use it as water buckets or hay buckets or um just don't use it as a round bale feeder because the round bale feeder the round bales are too big but it works perfectly so you don't have to use just like items for that like this is a bottle cap that I glued blue beads in and that's a water source or this is another blue bottle cap. So there's two Gatorade bottle caps. Or here's um, a bottle cap, a smaller one. So there's some perfect water feeder tips um, because it's just way easier than having to stock up on all that money. So there's those. And my next tip is Schleich little signs. So here's my big sign. This big sign I made out of popsicle sticks and that's the sign that goes next to my barn. But this sign I just took a jump that I had. It's a skinny jump. Um, <clears throat> I use it as a wall sometimes. And I just took a white piece of paper and I wrote down Magnolia Staples and then I wrote down a fake phone number so please do not try to call that because it's not real. And if it is, well, you'll probably call some stranger. So that's a perfect idea, and then you just super glue it on there. If you don't want to glue it, you can tape it so you can get it off. So there's another idea that I had made. And, um, so let me just set that back. Oh, and my sign. And then another great idea for a blanket. I should have showed this to you when I showed you the blanket. Um, <clears throat> is this blanket. So I made this blanket with fabric but I also put ribbon at the front um, as it looks like there's a patch 
So that's one of my favorite blankets. That goes on Ginger, my favorite horse. And then since it's November, it's fall time, I took this um, sticky pumpkin that you put on your door. And I have another orange one. Let me grab that. Anyways, and I stuck them on my barn, and they look so great. So these are perfect for, um, yeah. See, there's the orange one. These are just perfect to stick on your barn. See, they just stick so well. Um, here's this one. That one sticks well, too. Well, it just died because I need to take some of the stuff that's on it. So this one, because this one I've been using on wood. I mean, no, no, not on wood, on my window, so it needs to get, um, if you wash them, they get stickier, so that works better, so you can use them on wood. So there's those, and then another great idea for Schleich horse lovers is to put shavings in your barn. So, let me get Ginger out of her pasture, and I'll show you her stall in the barn. So here it is, here's Ginger's stall, and so a great idea is to get shavings from your farm, well your barn if you have stalls, or you can just buy like some guinea pig shavings or anything like that. So there's her stall, and I put ropes at the front of it, um, I have tons of other stalls, and this is Ginger, she's my favorite Schleich horse, I've had her forever, so yeah. And, um, so there's her treat feeder, water bucket, and some hay. And I have that all the way down in the stalls. So, yeah, so I just wanted to give you some details on Ginger also. Ginger's my favorite horse because I named her after my horse, Ginger. And she's a Lipazon, and I just, uh, my horse isn't a Lipazon, but I love them. And at my old farm, um, a boarder had a Lipazon. And I just loved her horse. Her name was Erin. She was really nice. So I just love Lipazons, as you know. Okay, so there she is. And then another great idea is for um, little Dixie cups. So these Dixie cups can work as perfect barrels. You can even spray paint them or anything. And they work as perfect little, like, you can put grain in them. Um, you can also cut brown string and put it in it, and it can act as grain. So it's a perfect grain idea for horse schleich lovers. And another great idea that I have, and that I would like to share with you, is to take briar mini winnies or schleich foals and put them outside by your sign if you have one by the outside of your farm, or they can just be by your barn sign by your farm. So I have um, about five mini winnies that I use by my sign and they're just great details for your sign. Another good idea is if you um, have a schleich friend that has schleichs or anything like that you can just write your initial at the bottom if they have the same schleich. Like on Rose here I wrote an M on the bottom and because she has this model too I believe I don't know but she does have this model, so I wrote an M on him too. So it's just such a great idea to write your name so then you know which one's yours, if you have like friends that come over to your house or anything like that. Another good idea that I have, um, it's perfect for mineral blocks or mineral licks. Um, so you take, you can use two rubber bands or one, but I use two broken, broken rubber bands, tied them together, and I put them through the shell, and I hang it in my barn, and it looks so cute, and it's a perfect salt lick for your horses, and they can just lick off of it, and if you put it like this, it looks like it could be a mineral block, right? So I just love that idea, and it's perfect. So I would just like to finish this, um, tour, and please make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!